see workspace mesh mesh part um okay mesh ID I think uh, all right and come on please please work come on come on come on oh come on yep that's you you're probably wondering how you ended up in this situation. Well, allow me to explain. Now, there are obviously several ways that model importation can go wrong, but the first and most common one I want to cover in this video, and the one that you just saw, is the 10,000 try limit. Also, real quick, if you want to learn how to import models to Roblox Studio, I'll go over it in this video. So, if you all didn't know, Roblox Studio kind of sucks, and it only allows you to import meshes that have less than 10,000 tries. Now, what is a try, you might be asking? Well, it's essentially a measurement of how detailed your model is. Really detailed models with a lot of vertices are going to have a lot of tries, and really low poly models that don't have a lot of vertices are going to have a low amount of tries. The only reason why Roblox puts the limit in place is so that you don't have really detailed meshes lagging your studio place. But luckily there's a really easy fix to this error. Behold, our lord and savior the decimate modifier. The decimate modifier is super cool because it reduces the try count of your mesh without changing its appearance too much. Oh, just look at how beautiful it is. Now there are three different options on the modifier that you can use, collapse, unsubdivide, and planar. They're all basically just different ways of taking tries off of your model. What you're going to want to do is mess with each of these settings one at a time until a decent amount of tries has been taken off of your mesh without affecting the appearance too much. Once you're happy with the position of a setting, apply the modifier, add a new one, and start on another setting. Of course, while you're doing all this, you should be able to see the try count of your mesh in the bottom right of your screen, although this may have changed with some of the updated versions of Blender, so if it's not there for you, there's probably another way you could find it. And yeah, that's how you work the magic of the decimate modifier. Another easy way of taking tries off of your mesh is by merging faces. This can be done by selecting a group of adjacent faces, right clicking, and hitting dissolve faces. You can also merge vertices by checking this little button in the top right, hitting the magnet icon in the middle, and selecting vertex in the drop down menu next to it. Now when you move vertices close to each other, they'll just snap together and dissolve into one. Again, it's a really useful way of taking tries off of your model. So that covers the 10,000 tries error, and now the other problems I want to talk about are Roblox Studio saying that your model has no vertices, and your model just straight up not importing. When it comes to Roblox saying that your model has no vertices, the easiest fix is to just re-export your model. Over the years, whenever this has happened to me, it's always been because I've screwed up the exporting of my model. So just try re-exporting it and making sure you've selected your mesh properly. And in terms of your mesh not importing at all, I would first tap into edit mode, select mesh, normals, and recalculate outside. Then back in object mode, press Control A and apply all transformations. These two things alone will fix your problem 99% of the time. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you all learned something today.